more ECG data that's twice as good at half the cost and be able to quickly access that data even on a mobile device. Anybody? Yes, all right, because Spalding Clinical makes all this and more a reality today. Now, in case you're not familiar with us, we are a leading edge clinical pharmacology trial facility and ECG core lab specializing in cardiac safety testing for new drugs and development. Now, our executive team has over 150 years of combined expertise in cardiac care, safety and technology, and together we're pioneering a whole new approach to clinical research. Now, last year at DIA, we introduced Spalding IQ, and this is our handheld, easy to use device that gives you ECG data that's twice as good at half the cost. Now, we just completed a 40 site US study with thousands of ECGs, and we're now engaged in two global studies that, um, ex that are in 35 countries and over 275 investigator sites, and today, we're excited to demonstrate for you our new mobile application with streaming waveforms. Uh, this is currently pending, 510K clearance, and we are eager to get your feedback on it. But to show you how it works, I want to welcome out Mark, who is our willing and able study participant. Mark. Now, Mark has been participating in a two-year study on a new asthma drug. And as part of the trial, I just thought somebody was going to say something. As part of the trial, every eight weeks, he comes in for a 12-lead ECG. Uh, typically, you would have to ship expensive ECG equipment to the doctor and train their staff how to use it. The Spalding IQ, on the other hand, is not only easy to ship, but it's also intuitive and easy to use. Now, notice that there is a single button on the device. You press it once, and you should see an E there, which means that it's empty um, and containing no data. What I'll do is give it to him, and the next step is for Mark to read a script into the device that will identify the trial in his particular subject number. Now, when Mark first enrolled in the study, his biometric voice print was recorded, and that's like a, like a fingerprint. Every time Mark comes in for an ECG, his system will identify the frequency of his voice and match it with his voice print. Now, this means that you will not have to write anything down or do any data entry on the electrocardiograph because with Spalding IQ, that part is automatic. So. Uh, if Mark's ready, I'll just be quiet, and he can press down the button and record his identifier. Subject 1001, the sponsor is Spalding Clinical, and over in position is Dr. Christine Perry. Today's date is the 26th of June, 2012. My birthday is the 28th of September, 1987. I am a willing research participant in this study. All right, so the voice recording stopped when he released the button. Uh, and he's going to connect up the ECG, and with the next click of the button, we could start storing the ECG, but what we're going to do instead is show you the Spalding mobile application uh, using these tablets. Now, as we open the app, it identifies all of the IQs that are available to pair with the device. Now, we picked the correct serial number from the list, uh, the one that matches up with the back of Mark's device, and the waveforms begin streaming immediately. Uh, once we hit the record button on the menu, as Tom will do, we begin saving ECG data, and we can examine the waveforms while the data is being collected. Now, during the ECG, Mark will lie still for up to five minutes, not just 10 seconds like a traditional ECG. Now, during this time, the device will record about 300 beats instead of six to eight. Now, this not only gives you more data, but it's also better data as well. All right, so now we're just gonna sort of like fast forward through the end of Mark's uh, five minute ECG and directly from the mobile display, we'll stop the recording and upload the data. All right, so how about a big hand for Mark? Mark, we'll see you again in about eight weeks. All right, so the Spalding IQ mobile app will now automatically connect to the internet, identify the subject using his voice print, and upload the ECG data to a server at Spalding Clinical Headquarters. The data can then be accessed by the investigator or the sponsor, and a local copy of the ECG with automated interpretation is provided on site immediately. Now this should already be back up on our mobile device as you see here. Now this fully automated process known as the Mason Protocol for our Chief Medical Officer, Jay Mason, is a vast improvement in the way ECG data is analyzed. More data is collected, the data is conditioned before it's analyzed, and the results are more reliable since there's less variability in interval measurements. The data can be viewed locally, and a cardiologist overread is performed and delivered in minutes to hours. Plus, 
you no longer have to ship large, expensive ECG equipment, and there are no rental or equipment setup fees. And I will repeat that again in case you missed it. No rental fees and no setup fees for the Spalding IQ electrocardiograph. And that's what we mean by a whole new approach to clinical research. Spalding IQ will revolutionize the way ECG information is collected in clinical trials to help you shorten development time and make earlier, better informed uh, drug development decisions. Please let us know what you think by completing the survey on the back of that form, if you would. Uh, after that, you'll get a free download of our mobile app for your Apple or your Android device. It's our way of saying thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Uh, we do appreciate your time and attention, and we encourage you to speak with our experts about your next study. Thank you for joining us at Spalding Clinical.